Hello, everybody. Hope I'm coming through loud and clear. Thought I saw you steal a uh, cami spot. Last play at South Park Stick of Truth. That was such a good game. Both the um, let's jump over to chatting. Both, what is it? The the Stick of Truth and the Fractured But Whole. They're both fantastic. I don't know why the next one they're doing. They're going for a weird 3D game. It's South Park's not 3D. It's it's 2 2D animation. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, the first two they did, yeah, Stick of, Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole, both so much fun. Probably one of the better sort of TV to movie game adaptions that I've seen. Are you a big South Park fan, Thord? I know Mr. Carter's. I know he knows of South Park. Yeah. I'm sure you enjoyed the games then if you're a fan of the series. Let's jump over to the game. Oh, they did. I remember it too. I can't think of what it was called, but it was a, a first person shooter, wasn't it? And didn't they, did they have a racing game as well, or am I imagining that? I'm probably imagining it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yes, you're right. They had the... Um, yeah, it was a first-person shooter, and I think it might have even had, like, um, split-screen multiplayer or something. Uh, so where are we on this? We found one dead passenger, two others are in a stupor, and we've sent back to the main craft in space with the rude guy. I don't remember anyone's names. And we're looking now for another one. South Park Rally. There was a rally. What? I was right. So there must have been two on PS1 then. Because there was the rally one, but I, I swear there was a, a first-person shooter one as well. Unless I'm getting the two of them greatly here, confused. If you're wondering, sir, it all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Okay, so it looks like I might be... Oh no, it's footprints there, so... It was just called South Park. Hmm, okay, well, it looks like... Gorski, that's who we're looking for. That's right, there was two. Chef's Love Shack, that was like a... A mini game kind of thing. So that makes three on PS1. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, I didn't play Chef's Love Shack. I, uh, I definitely played the first person shooter one, and I think I might have tried out Rally once or twice. Well, I think we must have to go back. Nothing's changed to us, Repeater. Oh, watch out for the ads, guys. So if we go forward and around to the left. Oh. Huh. I guess 
guess we're going this way. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing. We've yeah. got to find at least one person alive down here, surely. Seem to be moving much. That's not looking good. Conscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Okay, so um uh, what are we doing? There we go. Okay. Let me just uh, I guess the gravity's different, so that gives a uh, some advantage with lifting him. Done. How's your day been, Thord? Actually, I say day, it'd just be a morning for you, wouldn't it? I activated his SOS. We should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmission Damn. in the suit must be too weak. 10:30 a.m. Booster from the backpack. No, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway, so the hopper can land in this maze. Have a pretty okay. good scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll carry him. It's just. I've been awake an hour. Oh, nice. His parameters don't look too good. I can't remember the last time I slept it till 9.30. It's been a while. <laughs> like, maybe five years. Give or take. Pass out. Are you out sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving. Set up the relay, okay. Uh, all right. Doesn't look like a surface the uh, pod's really going to be able to land on, though. Shit. Yeah, 
day for the probe. Where's the probe taking us? You know, I don't know if you guys remember, but in last stream, they weren't sure the probe could support our weight. And now it's like flying us around. Poor Gorski's just Novik. been left for dead. Do you copy? Bay's come in and send him an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Okay, get to the surface. All right, let's check vitals. The saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue room. Not yet, at least. All right, let's get moving. I know I've said this, uh, said this last stream too, but there's definitely something off with our character's hands. The finger lengths are not correct. Deposit of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. Nah, too deep. Too deep. I guess we're going this way. Visibility. Oh, okay. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's not working either. God, are you kidding me? Um, okay, that's uh, just gone in a circle. What did I miss? Can we go up? Here? I think this is a different way. Yes. Progress. So where are we going? Left. Left or right? Actually, it doesn't look like we can go left. Right it is. Give up hope yet. Robert? Oh. If the radio is still receiving. Uh, close to the surface, I think. Oh, there's hope. I can't be too far underground. I need to act fast. Well, you're gonna have to I hear to get up. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I 
pick up a fight at the other way round. So, which way are we going? Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm coming to you, Astrogator. Yes, we're heading very carefully along these little steps. Oh, no thanks. Wow, we made it. All right, let's um, keep going. So not only have we got to get back to the surface, but we've also got to get back to where our companion Gorski is. And I guess that's if he's still there. Say. And it, it could have got to him too. I hope you're monitoring his vitals, Astrogator. Something and attacked. Was it an attack? Here. I think it's his way. I thought they said it was the ground shaking. I didn't think we were attacked. Hmm. Okay. There's no sort of um, wildlife noises of any sort. I can't stop. How did you really say that? I think I'm starting to freak out. <laughs> oh, oh no! Come on, get out. No, you haven't. Enough. Get moving. Forward. Faster. We're racing against time, Lester. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. Come on, yes, now. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? Keep moving? Huh, I thought so. <laughs> you know, I did what I could, but it still wasn't enough. I have the right to finally give up. No. Not yet. Hey, Anna, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome on in. He's doing well. How's Fortnite been treating you? Reptile and coal deposits, I assume. Oh, finally, 
We have proof. There was life on the surface of Regis III. Millions of years ago. But for some reason now there's no have big bones though. Not even bacteria or, or viruses. Gorski mentioned that Lyra Zeta was never. And yet we've ruled out hard radiation. Anyway. Mm. Over these millions of years, the evolution would move forward to them. However, someone or something is preventing life from moving ashore. More skeletons. Even more fossils. Without cones. No one will even know about this discovery if I'm stuck here. If they are, um, if she's right, they're massive bones. And they will find those bones along with mine. You never seem to get tired, Nevik. Can you hear him? Or is my mind playing tricks on me? I don't know. Me too. <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, let's oh, check out this way. There for me. Oh, something that just took us in a loop. No, don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. A way out. Maybe, hopefully. I'm close. Damn it. I was sure he would hit me this time. <laughs> but after the massive fall, it's a fair chance our comms are probably damaged. He's talking, make it sound like he's signing off, but why would he suddenly be in danger, I wonder? I don't quite understand myself. Wow. What is this? So that, by the sound of it, tells us there's someone else here. Thing either we can't move. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. I've got nowhere to 
Does it even see us, or is it too distracted by the probe? So I just realised I've got sound doubled up, I think. Sorry, guys. Don't know how I survived. I'm okay. Oh, it stopped. Yeah, probably give us a minute though. Wait a minute. I guess it's best if we're good. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder if that helped. So what's this going to tell us? How it got here before us? I guess right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a full base. Hmm. But they're here. Ah, that's the one. That's me. We're in. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. Probe. Ah, that was the probe. It distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. Because it did. I guess. We still don't know about Gorski. Oh, poor Borley. Did Borley sacrifice himself? These machines keep like photos. It's... You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, yes. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. I'm not down here. Yeah, but I don't trust this guy who's talking to us. Not completely, anyway. Okay. Hey, cool down. Are you talking about the crazy call? I don't know. I'm always saying I'm going to tell another person. I have to steal my heart. So what are we going to do with that, I wonder? Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. So which way are we going? Where is at this time? Let's try this way and see where we end up. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm here by their troops. Mm -hmm. Poor Gorski. what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. Gorski's gone. His readings. No. You don't have to finish. 
I understand. You did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. Let's get a little sprint up here. Alliance River. It's been stuck here for a while. But the light inside works. Or is it a living soul here? Oxygen tank. truck stop rover uh, okay where's the start button oh, why not close the door hey there we go Yes, stop button. Okay, we've got to hold it down, do we? Ah, the hey, engine started. We have a car. Are you driving? Um, I'm going. Please talk to me. Do we control? Oh, we do. Oh, shit! It hit the bonnet. Don't worry. What hit the bonnet? If it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. In a vehicle, this is kind of a Faraday cage. The the energy will flow through the body, discharge it. This is pretty cool. I didn't get to know. Didn't know we'd get to drive a little kind of space buggy. We're just following this around. Driving around on an alien planet. What if we find one of these monsters still alive? That's going to be uh, be interesting. This way. We've got any sort of map. Well, we actually do, but probably not. Can tell us a whole lot. Um, leave the city. Okay, I guess we go this way.
Holy. Nope. That's yeah. This way. Aha. Tandy the game gives you those little cues. Right, so I think we're we seem to be back on track. Did we make it? Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmets are equipped with a black box. Please find it. Please find it. I have the box. There we go. It's all locked up. Really? Uh, I must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. You will yes. have cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. I think I have something like that. There we go. Get to the probe's brain there. And press it. Won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. Oh, From the outside, of course they're not. It is but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Uh, same guts, eh? Hey? Just like with humans. Okay, so now what are we doing? Bit of hot wiring. Okay, he's in. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> so, what now? I probably want to just sleep in my little car for a bit. Lay down. The robot was connected to a base. Where's the base? I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> no one is transmitting from the base. Oh. I'd suggest you lie down. I'm trying to fall asleep. <gasps> I'm going to sleep now. Get some rest. Sleep. And hopefully don't, we don't get some sort of game over screen. Not good. Don't get a break. 
What is it this time? Oh, wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. Yeah. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the frame of frame. Bolly? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely and switch it now. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequencies. Three? Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are. Three, two, seven. The next is... Oh, okay. Two, one, four. This is quite clever. I'm here. Well done. That should buy us hey. time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing. Let's just keep going. Anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location. Should we go back to the ship? So, should we go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. How do we get back there, though? I'm fine. Okay. We still don't really know where we're going though, do we? Oh. Auto driving? Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Can we get picked up? Check the indicated area, which is, uh, I guess, there. Like I said, it looks good. They're opening flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack out to inside. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Tasks. 
Okay. What a landscape. Alright, so I guess we go back. I don't think we're going on foot from here, surely not. It'd be a bugger if you locked your keys inside. around. Oh, road to Alliance Base, road to landing zone. <sighs> oh, you know what? I kind of just want to get out of here. Signal. Breaking up. Can you hear me? Why did we lose signal? Where are we even going now? That's the whole area of landing zone. No, no, don't. Whew. Actually, mean to hop out of the car then. I guess we just keep heading forward. What's there happened? we go. I've lost control of the ladder. Do you see it? Just a sec. I have to get off. Should I hope he hasn't lost it? It hasn't yet pierced the cover. Oh, it's going to crash, isn't it? don't believe it was an accident then you've got to believe someone did it on purpose. Burning armchair, bloody hell. Damaged nozzle. Stanley, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. How's your weekend? Hungry. Check the crashed robot. What crashed robot? What's up? I've just been enjoying uh, this game called The Invincible. It feels like a bit of a walking sim, but um, the story's really bloody good.
did say check crashed robot, didn't it? But I didn't see anything else down there. No, well this one uh, is based on a novel that was written long before the comic <laughs> or the show. Well, no. Yes. I'm still. To think. Still. I'll report it. Fire. Okay, so we can't walk into the fire. That's that's good. I've heard of the show Stanley, but I know nothing about it. Okay, I'm going to go back to our buggy because it doesn't seem to be anything of value. It's perfect that I know nothing about it. When do we watch it? <laughs> well, that's that's the million dollar question. What? I, don't, I don't actually know. Check the crashed robot. But I didn't... I'm not seeing a robot down there, so what's it talking about? So what are you going to get to eat? Stanley, what's, uh, what's for breakfast? Okay, she... So they did say crashed robot. But where the hell is it? I don't know if I have it. Oh no! And nothing in the fridge or the pantry? Is that it? That looks like a robot. There we go. Found it. Something's left of Artie. Nope. Oh, Stanley. Somehow it still looks active. Ask him what happened to the lander. Ask. He doesn't speak. Yes or no signals, given the analysis of the Okay. Uh, was it a storm? RT question analysis command. Did the lander fly into a storm? I was going to say, yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, something like a storm. A shade? Cloud. Oh, he confirmed. It doesn't tell us. <laughs> Damn. Shot it out. So, Damn. What now? Then we must go to the Alliance camp. A month to avoid the Oh no, not the Alliance camp. This is your only chance. I reckon they're behind it. Oh, no thanks. We don't trust the Alliance, Stanley. We do not trust them. Sometime later. The alliance is behind. Uh, I'll be careful. We need headlights. I'm 
The horde. Okay, so hang on, where where are we going? I guess we're just following the road around. Go to the Alliance base. Now the horde. What uh, what game is the horde from? Oh. oh, okay, but I don't want them to see the rover. Warcraft. Um, where are we going, Stanley? Got this crappy little window to look out of. No, that's just going to take us back the way we came. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep going forward. What's the worst that happens? They see us and blow us up. <laughs> okay, so what do we do? It started raining. The road is hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Hmm. Okay. Um I'm too far away. I headed into the open area. Some object is flying over their base. It's a field base. Multi module. About several dozen people. Rather well equipped. And we've got the transport. Oh. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules with integral part of the food pack. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send in the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. Okay, so the Invincible, the name of the game is a shift. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Probably not, but... Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? No. Maybe they're hiding oh. modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't. I see someone. No, you don't. It's a robot. Yes. Even I can tell that. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We're going to assume that their equipment is already detected your presence. Hmm. What is that? There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. I'm glad I stopped. I'm glad I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. Okay, so... Do I drive over now? No. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk driving over. What's the worst that can happen, right? We know there's no heavily armed military. That's gonna beat walking all this way. Remember one thing, 
I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case mm. scenario, the lot for prisoner exchange. Well, if it's raining, I'd be staying inside too, Stanley. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it all comes out the same place anyway. So what were you planning to do outside today, Stanley? So what happened on the planet that's taken everybody out? See this guy. I'm not sure I'll be able to find my way back to where we were. I feel like we're just going around in circles. No, we did get back there, but... What do you think happened, Stanley? Try and find. I thought that maybe there was something I was supposed to find around the bottom to um before they'd let us climb up, but Yes, 
Is it necessary? This information will no longer so hold in us. City. One, eight, five, six, one. Seven, five, four. Yes. It's a ghost. Oh. I'm sorry. You. You lied to me. You lied how he died. You would blame yourself. Well, of course I do. I could have saved him. Left him the fucking tank. Why didn't you let me? Oh, no. Given the circumstances and our knowledge of the time, there was a high risk your sacrifice would kill you both. Fuck. We let him die. No, yes. As I said, I made the call, not you. It will be easier to think so. Can we go up? Search the command room. Okay, weren't we in the command room? At least I thought we were. Shit, so which one's the command room then? Ah, this is the command room. <laughs> One thing. I realize we still need to work together. So I'll submit my reports as usual. That doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. I appreciate your professionalism. Several years ago. Oh, okay. Here. They can. Who won the witch? One's unavailable. Probably out of reach. Only oh, took it. Okay. It's not like we can do anything with that. Research area. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Not the ship. Landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ 28. They didn't move. Hmm. Hmm. So I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Uh, quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Also, well, we got excavations. Research and during excavations, found you won't guess metal structures. So we had no chance to have one. Hmm. And they were already at an advanced stage of work, so we still knew that. Before setting up this base, there was a station not far from here. That seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. What about here? On the 24th day, but they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him? How have you detected his signal? Mm, maybe. How surely they could detect him. They, they could have detected all of us. How would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. Mm. That has something to do with it. Doesn't make sense. Investigating this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing we would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. I wonder if that's where they are. Well, 
There's no information about them in time. And maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. You know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. Okay, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. I'm <laughs> satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where they should land. We'll assume that the invincible is still there. I'll continue to search their base. Now we're allowed to check the upper level. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. sort of force field. Force fields down. I open the passage. I guess that's where we're going. You can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Now I've got to try and find my way out of here. I'm entering the next module. Oh, robot. Yes. That's the one we saw before. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. The silhouette I saw. Yes. It's just a robot. Nothing on our transmitter. Um, so where did we park? Oh, wow, that was terrible texture popping. There's our little car with one wheel off the ground for some reason it looks like. I guess we're just following the road around. Convoy path, yeah, up and around to the Oh no, don't don't hop out. Ugh, wrong button. Let's try that again. Are we headed the right way? Uh, if we go around... No, no, no. I want to stay in. In the car. So I believe we should be convoy path, yes. I was gonna say yes, bloody exhausted. things I missed at the base. Oh, 
which way are we going? Looks like around to the left a bit. forward. Giant excavator. I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. There's sort of a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ships that aren't going to be this must be. So how? Because the ship, yeah. Sounds impressive. For me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. Part of the structures, but rather an independent autonomous machine. Also, yes. So, a So where's everyone disappeared to? I hope this game has a satisfactory ending and we don't feel ripped off and get left with too many unanswered questions. point. Let's see what we can observe. What are we observing? The road ahead leads straight to where the combo is heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. They're not in the base, they must be somewhere to meet. So, what's on your mind? Good question. Side path? Just drive in there, straight to the combo. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Mm. I'll take the path in. Yeah, I think just heading straight there. I don't think it's too too weird. I think whatever whatever drove them out of their original base. It's probably wiped them out completely. It 
could backfire. Oh, it meant that it could. Radiation's gone up. Let's not be careful of radiation and other people. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the conflict. Yeah. This vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. up here this time. I'm surprised we haven't found any bodies. Like we found our own our own crew. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they is it active? Dead, fortunately. Hmm. I admire your composure. So what killed the machines then? Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. And one of my brains in defense mode now. Dissociation is something new. Hang on, someone's here. Oh. comes up as corpse, so that's... Dead. So you found someone. Hmm. Take note. Yep. Seeing their face. I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? Just what the hell? Dark hole. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. That's the one that turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. <laughs> hey, Mr. Carter, how you doing? How's work? Late finish for you. If I'm not mistaken. Radiant, sir. Radiant. Good to hear. Busy or was it a, a slow grind for you? Let's get their photos. Because they open eight to eight. I only planned late like that. Ah, nice. So what stopped them? What? What's going on? Oh, 
It's called The Invincible, Mr. Carter. It's based off uh, an old sci-fi novel uh, by written by a guy called um, S. Lem, a Polish sci-fi author, I believe. Yes, still the same game from the other night. Yes, yes he does. He wants to get us off here. <laughs> what happened next? Darkness. No. What did they find? Well, how's in her their faulty? The Antimats' new objective is to eliminate instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat. Mm. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. She's interpreting a lot from these uh, pictures. Oh. oh, taking his arm off is a bit gross. It's quite night, Mr. Carter. Uh, Thord was here for a bit. We had Anna here for a short time. yourself. Hey, Kaz. Uh, Stanley was here for a brief time as well. I think he's going to get something to eat. So someone might have... Oh. Just still got blasted. <laughs> Kaz waved. Night, Kaz. Yeah, where are we? <laughs> Shot him. It killed him. The machine just killed him. You know what I'm drinking, Mr. Carter. I'm sober enough to know what I'm doing, and I'm drunk enough to really enjoy doing it. <laughs> Water in a can, that's right. Picture of me. What? The last photo was from a few moments ago. Oh. Moment. But he helped, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope that. Perhaps it's best to hope. Why leaving the sports water that's carbonated? Sure, let's call it that. <laughs> Okay, 
Let's check it out. Oh, she's got a death wish, I tell you. Something in here sent the machine into a panic and it killed everybody. You're breaking up. Fizzy mother water, that's it. What on earth are we going to find? We might need some Gaviscon. Oh. What's it carrying? Circles using the same path. Hmm. So, can we like kick it out of the circle? Metal bushes. Uh, no, he hasn't been on yet, actually. Okay, container. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. How are we going to get it from the robot? Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. No. Come closer first. Can I stand in front of it? Does it just push me out of the way? Yes. Oh, that's really creepy. It just gets stuck there. Mid day over there. Yeah, he could be too, actually, now you've said that. What did you think of the uh, Beverly Hills Cop trailer, Mr. Carter? Anything over here? I have a feeling we're in the dark. We have to find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Oh, that's not quite what I meant. Um, I probably should. Want to find out what this research material is? Oh, you didn't watch it. I'm actually surprised. Out of the darkness. Okay. Sounds interesting. Was it a, a cheap film or was it like a um, big budget? Uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with this thing that I can... Just still coming up as search the location. 
That's a foreign film. And you admire a beautiful view. An hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does Regis 3 feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. Did you enjoy it, Mr. Carter? That's the thing. There's his chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. You're intrigued uh, on the uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Another dead body. So many bodies, how many have we found now? What, five? Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock. But I don't really care about that. <laughs> I'm, I am curious about yeah. Beverly Hills Cop, but I'm really put off by the name they've given it. ...appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Okay. Um... Can you please check them, yes, sir? Do you have anything specific in mind? Yeah, how? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use a detector. I don't really know what's coming out next year, to, to be honest. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Mm. Interesting. So, so. <laughs> to the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes. Oh, the Nothing too exciting. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't lose her. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Uh, well, we Why can't it be? Protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on Earth. Protonaceous, that's a word. about our classifications. Yes, sir. Are you abandoning your profession? All you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up. Hang on. They are making a film based on the band Dream Theater. Are you... Are you winding me up or are you serious? Made it up, bastard. <laughs> you got me so excited then for a second. Suddenly back here. Okay. Now the robot's back on track. I bet you are too. Well, I want to follow it, but you're not letting me. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Well, you looked like you did. It looked like you walked into it. Get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. I get the really 
Uh, I'm suspicious this game's going to have a really dodgy ending. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh. The robot. No. Oh, no, the shit. Antimat. Yeah, antimat. Move, yes, now. Run. No. Oh. Yes, sir. Are you alive? Yes. Yep. So doesn't want the research to be found. Oh, no. Thank you for your support, sir. Oh, You're always hoping. Oh. What are you saying, Doctor? I've always been a great support for the entire crew. No, don't die on me now. Oh, she's gonna get blasted with an anti-matter gun. Decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all in. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Yes, it is a wish list kind of thing, Mr. Carter. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marriott can't forgive you either. She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Some of the... Um, look, to be honest, I don't completely understand how Throne works. <laughs> um... I think depending on how you have it set up, people can, if they want to purchase something that's on your wish, li wish list, or they can contribute to it. And then once people have contributed the full amount, then obviously the, the item is, is purchased. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. They don't even have to be a follower. I mean, you could have a stranger stumble upon it and they could purchase something for you, from what I know. Um, but, yeah, it's just something to to set up and have. There's a few little knickknacks that um, would be handy to have to help improve stream setup, etc. But it's... I mean, there's no expectations or anything like that. It's just... There. Something to have. Uh, there were no more anti mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. Well, I think they're all. Uh, now you can everyone's gone. Them. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors. I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. The Safe assumption. Down, it's from the recording devices. The first antimat told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. We spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Find the rover. Oh, shit, where's the bloody rover? I have no idea. Ah. It's cooled down. Ah, there's the rover. That's very convenient. Hey, the best. How you doing? Actually, it's right in front of. Welcome in. Okay, the data recorder. What have we got here?
Been playing some Apex Legends to best. How's that been going for you? And Mr. Carter, there's a new video up. On uh on Doc's calm corner. Mm, well, there's another body for the collection. What's in this one? Oh, and another one. Not all these people were killed by the antimatter gun, though. You already liked that one, the Horus. <laughs> Maybe I should do one on based on the Horest. I don't actually know what I'm looking for. Ah. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely Great question. So, Not sure how calming the Horest would be. <laughs> Hello, base. This is here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Is it bad though, Mr. Carter? Carter? Monster House have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Mm. There's more. Base, come in. Oh, Dr. Here we go. wants to talk with you. Test luck here. This time. Nah, never. Sort of. Any time of day is a good oh. time. I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to support each other. Revealing new properties. Mm -hmm. First, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Should be drinking white Russians. I wouldn't say no to a white Russian. When in a larger group, they activated, and this is our biggest revelation so far, they started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more hmm. freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say wow. crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black mm. is cold in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Austin extreme I should drink white Russians the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects is Markovnik there navigators unavailable right now well please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available <laughs> oh and have him send us another transporter will you autonomous robots the size of flies it's not finished let's keep listening hello convoy Anka, come in are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material mm. behind and return to the base. Oh. But why? What happened? Frank at the establishment. This whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. <sighs> Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Why? Safe recording. <sighs> Amazing. My cripots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field mm -hmm. emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. No, I don't own a drone. 
act tempting. That feel damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why is it night in the casino? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns the long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how merit. <sighs> Most probably. So why have we Other survived? Of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable, like a baby. They don't understand the world around them. <laughs> Can such a person learn the world anew? If it's possible. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. <laughs> they won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Radio. Do I pop out or am I taking over? Oh, there we go. Popping out. Um, I'd have to check my emails for the for the channel, but I don't think so, Mr. Carter. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets. No, it looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Hmm, like from small flies or something, maybe? The game's a slow pace, but the story's great. Cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Need a torch. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now what? Crushed containers. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Mm. I'd love to hear it. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe I'll make a assessment. Uh, oh, stretch. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Look, I think it might work like this. The bushes <sighs> and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, mm. and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. 
far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necro evolution. Mortius evolutionis. <laughs> I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and oh, this is... to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism <laughs> that comes with it. Okay, so find the containers with the flies. I haven't seen any containers though. Hmm. Character has no stamina whatsoever. And there's something I need to do before moving on. Okay, is this a container with flies? No. Where would you keep a container of flies, Mr. Carter? bed <laughs> yeah maybe she had them in her bed back on the well someone might have them under their bed around here I guess I don't think I can get through here cause, uh. the second transporter is under a force field it's hovering above the ground so it is operational Probably also in better shape than the other one. In the freezer for snack time. The may be intact then. Find a path to get under the force field. Let me guess. Back to the path that they took me off just before. That eating frozen flies. That's um good protein you told. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to take their word for it, Mr. Carter. And say witchetty grubs and such a are good for protein. We're probably getting towards the end of uh, of stream, guys. I did. I actually did wonder if we might have reached the end of this tonight because I think it'll be a fairly short game. But it looks like we've still got a quite a bit to go. Past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies, or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Okay. Great. So now what? Oh, come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. No. Like... Is it scared of you too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Hmm. Which will probably be through this area here, I reckon. Ah, oh, look at that. Copy, sir. Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, 
doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Inodo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? It's a good plan. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Mm, they talked about turning. Oh, no? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. The equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. We still need to find the controller. Um <sighs> Good to see you, gamer. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it, but it is a really slow pace. Um if I had have realised just how slow, I don't know if I would have actually streamed it. But uh, I kind of sort of feel too too far into it now <laughs> that I want to finish it for you guys. But the, the story itself is, I'm really intrigued. Focus. What now? Really enjoying the story. Now, I've got to go back in and, and get the, the probe. Why is it saying find a path to get under the force field? I've done that already. That's... That's weird. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. <sighs> Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. We know that's going to go badly. <laughs> ah, all good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, will it, though? Off we go. Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Maybe I'll leave the flies behind. Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. I will have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Oh, do we really want to do this? This is not a good idea. Dust? Oh. Wow. I must 
submit. Wow. Watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole is opening the stratus for. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, doctor. Shoot yourself. A black hole has opened up. Considering how many there is. I feel like we should have gotten the probe though. I didn't look hard enough for that. them back the flies. That's probably all they want. So ready to leave your job? Ah, oh, have you still not got a start date yet? I should interrupt your uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. <laughs> Shit. Uh, the fourth time, if I counter correctly. But I'm not planning another. <laughs> the first four weren't planned either. At least we learned the truth about this planet. And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. Mm. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, shooing off possums. Maybe we started their research into a cure. I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. Mm. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or oh, you'll find more corpses, Yasna. I wish I could go back and look for, to try and get that probe. Hey, something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. Do you mean it flew away or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. Looks like a balloon. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff close to the ground. Can you get to it and hook it? 
Maybe that won't be necessary. Hang on, it's still. Oh shit! Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No, I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? Mm. One was wearing an alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. <laughs> and now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. And just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere. Which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. <laughs> is that what I do on TikTok, Mr. Carter? <laughs> if it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The road is nearby if needed. Good to know. Okay. That. How are you feeling? Oh, hang on. Let's finish this off. Shitty. Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least. Yes. I'm alive. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to leave it for tonight. I can give that my... I feel like we made really good process. I'm a little bit gutted we didn't get the, uh, the probe. Hey, Cammy! Caught us just as we're wrapping up. Good to see you. I hope you're well. Did you get a good sleep? You've been Warning. working? Earthquake imminent. Warning. Oh. imminent. You had to cause an earthquake, didn't you, gamer? <laughs> no debris, though, thankfully. The volcano lair's quite sturdy. God, I even had that as a channel reward. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was quick off the mark. Where's the Star Trek? I don't know Star Trek. The Star Trek head shake. Ah. Oh. I, I don't know how to do that game. Right? I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> 17 minutes late. Ah, oh, damn. No, no, no euphemism there, Mr. Carter. But, uh, yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out. Um, I can't predict how this game's going to end. My <laughs> Well, vol Volcano Lair is, is sturdy, yeah. That's, that's not a euphemism. I broadcast from my Volcano Lair. <laughs> See, now you're the one who's trying to take this in a completely different, different direction. You'd never do such a thing. Yeah, of course not. And you asked about the uh, the pants. I have my my Grinch.
Christmas shorts on this evening, as you can see the little Grinch oh, character right, there. Just come. With the Santa hat. It's very, very festive. Hey, Xanix. Good to see you. Thank you, Cammy. It's going well. We are actually just uh, just finishing up, though. You just caught us at the end. But great to see you. I hope you've been well. Feels like it's been a while. Hey. <laughs> time zones. Yeah, time zones suck. I mean, it'd be better if we all just lived in the same time zone. No, well, the, the picture frame's actually fine, uh, Mr. Carter. I just, I haven't got any new 3M stickers to put it back up yet. I am thinking about replacing Kevin, though. Kevin, um, I think his time has come. <laughs> we'll see. Not Kevin. <laughs> I'll repurpose him somewhere else, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Stick him up in another part of the room. But if I do, I'll send you a picture so you know he's safe and well. I will. I'll put it in Discord for you. Or I'll send it to you on, uh, on Facebook. Yeah, I did, Cammy. The uh, the the story's really bloody good. I feel like there's a couple of things I've missed, possibly, just in terms of things I haven't looked around for properly. This is uh, usually around the time I finish up uh, Xanax. Um, it was eleven thirty now, so. I've Started about two hours ago. Uh, yeah, if, if I didn't have work tomorrow um, and kids potentially getting me up at 5 a.m., I'd probably stream a bit longer, but uh, yeah. It does feel like years, Cammy. <laughs> Eight hour stream. Oh, I wish Mr. Carter. I'd love to do a longer stream for you guys. I really would. One to two years, surely it hasn't actually been that long. <clears throat> um, yeah, look, I might have to um, have a conversation with... Uh, this is a test on how. Yeah, look, I'll have to have a conversation with, with Mrs. Doc and, and maybe when I get my Did annual... You come <laughs> in my get my uh, work leave balances in a healthier state, um, I might get... Ah, oh, Cammy, not to self-promo. Promo away, my friend. You're a fantastic streamer and a great mod. Every everybody should be following you. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe it's actually. Have you really been streaming nearly two years already, Cammy? Wow, it feels like only six months ago you had your first stream. <laughs> That's insane. Or maybe I just missed your first few. Maybe that's why it feels more recent. Second anniversary was in October. That's insane. Like some of the people I've been chatting with, like self included, I've realized I've been talking to for like three, four years now. And that just blows my mind how quickly that time's gone.
absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, what I've been streaming sporadically for what about four years now? That's that's insane. I'm still enjoying it, which is good. But uh, yeah, as I was mentioning, if I can uh, discuss things with with Mrs. Doc, I might. Um, be able to uh, swing a longer stream maybe sometime in the new year uh, yeah that's that's true I'm trying to think second one definitely he's turning three in Feb and the older one I think No, she... I started streaming just after she was born, I think. Which timeline-wise would work out because she's turning five early next year. Yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about those ones, Mr. Carter. Um, that's all, all redacted. I should have got you to delete that, Cammy. That's a bit of a sensitive topic. I am joking, by the way. <laughs> Just in case Cammy's now frequently, frantically trying to work out how to delete messages. How often do I stream? Uh, almost daily. Ah. Uh, I wish. <laughs> no, look, depending on um, work, kids, uh, wife's work roster, maybe two, three times a week, usually at most. You can't do it on mobile? No, it's all good. I, I was just being silly, Cammy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's usually anywhere between two, two and a half hour streams. But uh, I don't think, I think the only Godzilla film I've actually ever watched was the one with, shit, was it with Matthew Broderick? Am I remembering that correctly, that he was in the Godzilla movie? 97 one was it 90 yeah no you're right too he was he was a horrible inspector gadget actually the inspector gadget film was horrible full stop it should never have happened sorry no that's a random side note yes he did uh that was called come with me and it's not on spotify because stupidly I've looked for it. <laughs> I still have the CD single on my shelf. They used, um, it's a riff from a Led Zeppelin song, but I can't remember which one it is. Yeah. Hey, I still actually have a box of cassette tapes. VHS and audio, Mr. Carter. I've probably even still got some uh, old uh, three and a half inch discs around somewhere. <laughs> Possibly. You still got cassette tapes and VHS. And the stupid thing is, I don't even know why I carry them around when I move because I'm never going to listen to them or watch them but I just there's part of me that just can't bring myself to get rid of them yeah it's it's stupid how we're like that though with some stuff isn't it 
Like, I mean, like I said, I can't do anything with them. I mean, I'm not going to be able to give them to my kids. Oi! Cammy, that's uncalled for. <clears throat> yeah, can't let go of them either, Mr. Carter, but... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, got my eye on you, Cammy. I need to do, I need to create some sort of uh, punishment for, for people in chat that I can extract at the exact the push of a button that brings up your profile picture and does something to it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, Cammy. I don't know what it'll be. I'll have to think about it. Used to wear a brown onion. That was the style of the times. Listen here, Abe Simpson. I'm really enjoying the Invincible. The, I was hooked on it from from the trailer, which looked amazing. I'll be back in a jiffy. And it's the the game is good. The story is really interesting, but it is a slow paced game. If you want something that's got a lot of action, this is not that sort of game. <laughs> yeah, putting up a wanted, actually a wanted poster could be a good idea. Putting up behind bars, or I could have a foot come down and stomp on your profile picture. Um, maybe have if I want to be really vicious I could have your profile picture and maybe a little animated gif man walk out pour gasoline on you and set fire to the picture that might be a bit extreme though could be a bit much what if we want to be stepped on <laughs> well I don't know what to say about that Cammy that's that's a whole different thing <laughs> it's kind of extreme How are you progressing in Under the Waves, gamer? I guess if we're a bit careful in terms of spoilers and such, but you'd be... You'd have to be probably a good halfway through it by now. You say it's extreme, Cammy, but I don't know. I'm talking to the guy who just took shots at me. I have not gamed that long? Okay. Acting in overtime. Nice. Yeah, he says that. With your finger. It still counts though, Cammy. You still shot. They weren't blanks. Uh, for anyone who hasn't checked out um, Under the Waves, yeah, definitely jump on Gamer's stream. Stream later and check it out bloody good game what am I shooting nails <laughs> ah that'd be kind of gross wouldn't it imagine like a if you, you had a finger gun and like it was your fingernails that shot out the end that's that's really creepy thanks for giving me that mental image Cammy. ah <laughs> oh, you're welcome game I mean I think just about everyone in chat is a, a streamer, so and it should be following each other. So, but but yeah, in particular, under the waves, check it out. It's um, probably one of my one of my favourite games of the year so far. I should say favourite new release game for the year. Pose for you. What? Three, two, one. What? What are we doing? I don't know what Cammy's doing. Don't shoot me, Cammy. Watch dog shoot blanks. <laughs> oh, Mr. Carter. Never mind. You confused me, Cammy. Didn't have enough. Oh, I know. I think I know what you're going to do. 
Maybe next time. I need to wrap things up, guys. Mr. Carter has a way of dragging me into these conversations. Twitch Mobile lied to you. Damn Twitch app. Lies. Ah, it's always fun talking to you guys. <clears throat> oh, how frustrating, Cammy. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. You should. No, I've had this one for a while, Mr. Carter. A nice try, by the way. <laughs> I've had this one, but actually, but speaking of, I've got to watch their final uh, episode that'll be up on Netflix by now. I might do that before I crawl into bed. New beard oil. No, same one. Ah, oh, don't say that to me, Cammy. You've got to watch Rick and Morty. You might not enjoy it, but you've got to at least watch it. I would say probably the earlier seasons are better, but the later seasons do still have a couple of really good episodes. Oh, it's much better than High on Life. It's a similar style of humour, but the stories and everything are by far better. It's not a bad season, uh, Mr. Carter. I would say probably stronger than season six. Or is this season six? Stronger than its previous seasons. <laughs> I can't remember right now if we're on season six or seven. But catch up. So we can talk about it. I think Zeke's been been watching it. But he and I haven't had a proper chance to discuss it. But anyway, damn it, Mr. Carter, you've done it again. Thank you everybody for hanging out which I think I've said about four times. Um, next stream will hopefully wrap up the Invincible. Uh, then I don't know, we might not start a new game. We might just find something a bit generic to, to see out the rest of the year and then start something fresh in January. Um, look, I don't know, we might just do something random, might chuck on like some Dead by Daylight or um, uh, maybe see if we can get some online stuff. Sifu, I'm going to ignore that Kami. <laughs> um, that has mythical beasts. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll find something. We might even revisit something. Dead Island 2's got some DLC that could be worth doing. Yeah, or if we do something like Dead by Daylight. Oh, I don't know if I'll still have my... That might not work. I think my PS Plus will have run out by then. Like a scaly creature that can fight. Sure, why not? Sifu is an amazing game, Xanix, I, I do not dispute that. Uh, it's for me just like a lot of Souls games in that it, I just run out of patience for it. <laughs> it is, it's, it's a brilliant fighting game. Kami, um, I'd say without questions, one of the best of its type that I've played. I just don't know if I'm this type of gamer that's got the patience to see it through. And I think after having such a long break, I, I, I'd probably have to go right back to the start and learn it from scratch again. <laughs> like Elizabeth. I think if I jumped back into where I last played it, I'd probably get absolutely destroyed. See, Returnal's the same. I loved Returnal, but the concept, oh, it crushed me into the ground. It took me so long to get past the first boss. And then I 
finally got to the second and then when I died and had to go back through everything I just fought through, I was just like, no, nah, I do not have the patience for this. If either of us get rich, yeah. Let's just buy a year of PS Plus. Look, I would have came, but after Sony's last price increase on it, um, the value for money is just not there. I think if a new game came out that was online that I wanted to play with people, I'd probably just get um, get it for like a month or something and. Yeah, just sort of get it as needed. It's a shame you can't buy session times. Like say if you wanted to play online for two hours, you could just prepay for a two hour online session. Even, they, yeah, even their online, their monthly games haven't been amazing. And to be honest, gamer, I don't think I've played one of the free monthly games that's come out of this year at all. Oh, but that, see, to me, um, gamer, that's a silly game to give away because at this point, who doesn't own GTA 5? Like anybody who has any interest in it, I'm sure already owns it. That's, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> um, I mean, what? It's been out for, what, 11 years or something now? Thereabouts. And it's still going to be another two years before GTA 6 is even out. I mean, far out. I understand they want to make a, a solid game, but... Yeah. In more than 10 years, there we go. Far out. Oh, do you remember those books, Mr. Carter? Far Out, Brussels Sprout, Unreal Banana Peel. I think that was, was, there was more than that though, I think. But yeah, I remember that. Far Out, Brussels Sprout, Unreal Banana Peel. I think there was one that had Vegemite in the title. But I don't remember it. But anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to sign out before Twitch decides to run their ads again and we get stuck. What other books do I like? Uh, I can recommend a book called The Fifth Miracle. I can't remember who wrote it. Google it. It is an incredible read. Uh, it basically goes through and discusses a number of theories about how life began in the universe. Really, really good. It's an intense read, but really interesting. Thank you guys for hanging out Begin on the Moon. Oh, this book goes back even before the Big Bang. Mr. Carter, <laughs> and it discusses creatures that live in lava, and it's just, it's mind-blowing. But yeah, The Fifth Miracle. Check it out. Thank you all for hanging out. And yeah, Xanix, it was great to have you drop by. Uh, hopefully we get to see you, we get to see you more often. Um, I will stream again this week, I'm sure. I just can't guarantee what day. No, we haven't, Mr. Carter. It's all lies. We haven't been. You reckon we've been on the dark side? Stop distracting me, Mr. Carter. Yeah, I, I'm just going to um, avoid that one, Mr. Carter. <laughs>
I know it's a movie, but yes. All right. Thanks everyone for hanging out and uh, we will catch you all again next time. Stay safe and good night.